Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to show you something real quick. Uh, this is OBS. I'm running OBS on the Mac, and uh, you can see now you have a time, like a real time, uh, like current time showing in the screen. Um, so you may wonder why can I do this on the Mac? Because until now, you you actually don't have a like extension for macOS to show the real uh, the current time and date um, for OBS on Mac only for Windows. Uh, right now for Windows there's like a, some extensions like like SNES. You can actually show some real time information. But right now, uh, yeah, let me show you how I can do this. So actually, I made a little tool called uh, OBS Timebot. I made this name. OBS time but um, today's uh, I just finished this program today um, April the 10th version 1.0 beta 1 so basically uh, you can get the current time I have a little GUI here you can get a current time and uh, so the current time is saved into a test file uh, inside my program uh, the document directory uh, so like that's a pass you can use you can find this test file using this pass i also have a little uh, other functions like stopwatch or lap time uh, but this is not available for obs right now but right now you can get the current time for the obs um, that's a little gui so once you open this program you can uh, get this uh, little gui and uh, find this test file and uh, you can make a new uh, text sources and uh, you can make a name like time and uh, so here like you can set up your new uh, test uh, or, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this one railway so 48 doesn't show anything yeah so it, wait one sec yeah so like you need to read the file and you can find the file but unfortunately you cannot copy the path directly into the text file option so you need to browse this file so this file is actually inside uh, the uh, document directory for this program which is hidden in the Mac uh, interface so you cannot find so actually like let me show you um, so it's in users, your username, library, slash library, but the library folder is hidden here. So you need to search. So I rec right now I um, made this test file called test.txt. I'm gonna make a better name in the future, but right now like you can put test.txt in the search bar and you can find uh, text.txt into your, oh, sorry, I spelled it wrong, I guess, test.txt. Um, so you can find this file but this file is updating every second so you need to click on this file and immediately press enter to apply this option oh actually let me try again test dot txt okay inside your all right i think it's this one yeah this one open okay so now it's updating every second. Sometimes it's updating slow, but most of the time it works. Um, I just finished this program, so I will see uh, like if this works properly all the time. But I try like five times, four times it works really well. Sometimes it have like delay. So right now you can see just like one to two second delay, um, but it's okay for most of the cases you're using. Um, I'm really satisfied for this result. Um, so that's it. OBS time bud. That's uh, I like uh, you might uh, so like I would say it's a sh it's a Mac version for SNES. Uh, like like this, uh, SNES is like better program. You can show like uh, the time and date and even the iTunes uh, kind of information, uh, the music you're currently playing. But this is just the beginning. I'm gonna add more functions. Uh, and make this program better for 
uh, for better user experience and more features. But right now I'm calling OBS time but at least you can get the current time. Alright, um, I'm gonna finish this program, make it look better and I'm gonna release it soon. It will be, uh, the download link will be on my personal website and the YouTube. Thank you for watching and uh, see you guys later.